we're in the midst of getting ready for the show. Yeah. We're talking with Elena. Yes. Well, I... My background is in fashion. But then I was working in wearable technologies uh, at MIT Media Lab Europe. And, and uh, I don't know, I've always wanted to, to see how technology could influence fashion, but at the same time, how could fashion influence technology? So for these pieces, I, I wanted to use solar technology, but I wanted to try to diffuse, differentiate as much as possible from the current pieces we see in the market, which are very... Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 what it takes. So, All right. the pieces we see in the market are usually very male focus or a sport uh, techno look. So what I, what I have done is I have designed um, different accessories that are inspired by antique techniques, antique embroidery techniques. And there are also antique accessories like the parasol, fan, hairpiece. So basically I wanted to see what happens if we merge the poor past with our future in terms of, of the aesthetics of technology. How could technology be changed and how could our traditional remain in this kind of pieces. So I use lace and embroidery in all of them. So you will see more after. And uh, I can show you this piece that I have here. Which simulates, we can see, we can see this piece being a um, And the solar cells are meant to look like juices in the garment. So the idea was more like making the solar cell a filter, making them part of the decorative elements that women has always worn, and trying to accessorize the technology. Then what, what the pieces do with the energy in this case, we know we could charge or, or handheld devices, for example. But in this case, uh, I tried to do a more poetic um, project, concept. What the pieces do is that you wear any of the accessories or garments during the day, outdoors, and then when you come home and you remove your clothes and you hang them around the house, they light up and they're little ambient lights for the house. So it's like giving them a, a second life. I like that a lot. So you can hang your dress or you can hang your necklace or your handbag and it will become a little ambient light powered only by the energy stored earlier. So we're back with you, Elena. Yes. <laughs> now my hair is done. I know. <laughs> And you guys did great on the catwalk. Yeah. <laughs> and they did amazing. Let me get close up so it's just really know, what amazing. What else do you want me to tell you? I was going to say, how did you, how did you get into this? Now. How did you get into wearables? I was going to find out what your background is. After working in fashion for long enough to not hate it, but get bored of, you know, following trends and all these. Um, and also seeing a few, I don't know, just the trends have changed. You can see the, the designer Hussein Shalanya really challenging fashion by adding uh, technology and robotics to his garments. So you see these things and you really feel like, wow, maybe something else I could be doing than, you know, just following trends and colors. And so here I am and I really think, that, um, somehow I think it has to be a way that technology could make us more human. And I think our tradition will be part of that. I don't know. I they're could, really beautiful. I, I mean, they're philosophy for ages. But <laughs> it's a great yes. mix of like older with new. I mean, it's yeah, really I just, beautiful. I think. I mean, there is people that probably like this weird, very minimalist technology. But for those that would rather have something more decorative and ornament. Oh, it's just beautiful. 
<laughs> so what is next? <laughs> what is next? Well, next, uh, actually, <laughs> um, keep an eye on the Distance Lab website because I, I just started working with them to design interactive textiles for many things. Uh, for example, the, the first piece that is going to come is for um, pressing awareness, to know what other person is doing in a different house. Through, because if you think about it, textiles are everywhere. Textiles are in your house, in your car, in your clothes. So to put technology into textiles can be very clever to get a sense of what other person is doing somewhere else. So would it give would it give that sense with color or lighting or in this case we are playing with, with sparkles, little lights like this and and maybe sound. In, so you will know what the other person is doing because you get these sparkles around the house. Oh I can't wait to see I, it. Yes, I don't think I can say much more, <laughs> That's but okay. if you keep an I'm eye if you keep it. an eye in the distance lab website, I'm gonna make There we go, we got it. <laughs> Portable devices. I think we might get a, a huge market for these devices, and and for women, I'm afraid we really have to look at, a, at the aesthetics because we're not just gonna wear a black handbag every single day. So it's good, I think, to try to design other variables for for different type of clients. Oh, it's just beautiful.